For our next lesson, we're going to take a look at three specific functions that come up a lot in our calculus class. The first type of function we're going to take a look at are linear functions. This video is going to take a really quick review of lines and everything we know about lines. This video is not intended to teach these topics, but just to review topics that you've seen in previous math classes. With lines, the first thing we did with lines was we looked at the slope or measure of steepness. How steep is the line? And we found out that the formula took an x1, y1 point and an x2, y2 point and said that the slope, which we represent with the letter m, is found by taking y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. So for example, if I had the points 3 comma negative 1 and negative 2 comma negative 4, I could calculate my slope using the slope formula. Remembering that points are x, y pairs, and we've got our first point and the second point. So we're going to take the y coordinate from the second point, negative 4, subtract the y coordinate from the first point, which is negative 1 over the x-coordinate from the second point, negative 2, and subtract the x-coordinate of 3. Simplifying that, that becomes negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, over 2 minus 3 is negative 5. And a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So the slope between these points is 3 fifths. You might remember we would call the numerator the rise and the denominator the run, indicating that this line rises 3 for every 5 that it runs. Once we knew how to calculate the slope, or the measure of steepness of the line, we started coming up with the equation that represented the line. And the most common way we represented that equation is what is called the slope-intercept equation. The formula for the slope-intercept equation was y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept, which is found when the x-coordinate is 0, b would be the y-coordinate of that point. So for example, if I wanted the equation of the line that connected the points 2 comma 5, and 0 comma negative 1, first thing I need to know is the slope between the two points. We take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And I simplify that to find m is 3. My slope is 3, and my y-intercept comes from the y value when x is 0. So b here is going to be negative 1, meaning my equation for this line that goes through the two points is y equals m, my slope of 3, times x, plus my b of negative 1. We now have the equation of our line that goes through the two points. But what if one of those points is not the y-intercept? What if one of those points doesn't have x is equal to 0? In that case, we use what is called the point slope equation. And this one's actually the one we will use the most in our calculus class. The formula for this point slope equation is y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1, where m is the slope and x1, y1 is a point on the graph. Let's take a look at an example. Let's find the equation of the line that connects the points negative 2, 3 and negative 4, 2. 
Well, for any line, the most important part, the thing we always need, is the slope. So we'll take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So our slope is a positive 1 half. We have a slope of positive 1 half, and we can use either one of these points. I'm just going to select to use the first point as my x1, y1. So when I go to the equation, y equals m, my slope of 1 half, times x minus the x-coordinate. Notice that minus is going to change the sign to make it a positive 2 now. Negative, negative, making a positive. And then we add the y-coordinate of 3. The equation of the line that goes through these two points is 1 half x plus 2 plus 3. Lines are one of the main functions we'll use in this course. The other two are exponentials and logs, and we'll look at those in our next video.